Isaiah, like the original one, the TikTok, because he wasn't big. He had like a few thousand followers, but he wasn't big. But then with that caption, I guess, it just got cut up in the algorithm. Like I was talking to Waldo about the algorithm and TikTok is just <laughs> built where you can have stuff get millions of views, but it's not necessarily going to translate to a following. So if you already have a following and you jump on a new platform like a TikTok, you're already going to be good to go, but it's making wave for, I guess, younger people, whoever people, people who had to cut up these little relatable funny videos and maybe do crazy edits with a side-by-side -side or a voiceover to potentially get viral, viral videos, but it's not always going to necessarily translate into a following. Yeah. yeah. It's just weird. It's it almost seems just like a... It's almost like you're just gambling with uh with content at this point. Pretty much. It's almost like all the people that got on were because they like uh they put a lot of stuff out in volume till something hit. It wasn't even like zeroed in. It's almost like a business model that's not geared towards any sort of uh consumer. It's whatever that's what my homie said. Yeah, it's whatever latches first, that's what you cater to, which isn't really sustainable. I don't, yeah. I don't think, it's, you know what I mean? No, nah, it's, it's funny. I was asking people what to do, and they're like, put out porn clips, little clips every day. And then I had a homie who was like, it ain't going to work. You got to put random stuff out. And, like, the way TikTok's built is off, like, spawn, spawn like, like random shit. Like, like you said, like, if you put a clip out every day, one will hit. But if you, like, put out the same concept clip, like, every day, it might not do anything. So he was like, put random stuff out, and then the big hitters randomly. He's like, don't go big, 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 big. Just like get your foot in and then create content first. But it's stupid because basically what TikTok is for comedians, I see it, not not getting comedians, but like they're just taking anything that's trendy and popular and putting their own spin on it. And they know like people have short attention span. So they're going to do something popular for like 20 seconds. And it's like more, I guess it's more relatable these days than doing a podcast where people are like, it's going to take an hour long to listen to somebody they don't know. They have to like know you, I guess, you know? I don't know. I was thinking about it. I was like, I was telling you about the TikTok thing. It's like comedians just take what's trendy and viral and just kind of put their spin on it to get in that 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 algorithm and the views up. Like it's not really anything crazily unique. I just kind of hate having to perform towards an algorithm though, because that kind of changes everything. Like you could, That's what I said. You, you could kind of have the best idea or take on something, and it just gets lost in nobody seeing it. Yeah, I know. It's like the same thing with being great on stage and a joke right now because of the comedy world right now. And it's like, it's just tough. It's annoying. And it is a game of like creating it. any kind of content because it Some could just get, it could just get taken or resurfaced or even edited up. Like t technically, you we only know we only so we only saw that one like that got we only saw that got cut from the YouTube and got posted and went viral because we like people sent us the videos and we were caught on to it. But there could be others of our shit out there or other of anybody's shit out there that they just never came across. We, and we saw the kid posted one like a month ago and that, and we just never caught on to that one. It also didn't go as viral, but uh, that's just what it is in terms of repurposing the digital content. Stand up, stand up's a little was, different. Cause if you're going to cut someone doing an actual joke on stage, obviously that's you, but in your situation, in Mike's situation, he was interviewing Brandy Love. You're, he's not a huge name. We don't, we're, there's not a huge name tied to it. So you can just cut it and you're just putting it out for that relatable little line where she said she sends women home to her house and you could put the wifey thing because that's the joke. Every 17-year-old kid wants to marry uh, somebody who, who will let them fuck other women. And that's, yeah. the, that's the funny part. That's the relatable part. And that's something that's going to just get cut around, cut around, cut around. And that's what's going to get put on these raunchy channels, these full sends or these bar stools or whatever else. And let's be honest. I could send Don't full send a thing. You still got to credit the source though. Always. Uh, like, like, and that's the thing. They just don't give a fuck. So you, unfortunately, you have to go through what we were doing the two days where it's like all of our friends blast the comments. Let's DM them a million times. Our logos in the goddamn corner. Let's fucking threaten them. Ass. Let's do all this shit. Even though we don't have much of a name behind us, our freaking logos there. And it's not your content. We did it. Go ahead. Repurpose it. Make the joke. But just fucking say that we did it. It's our interview. Crazy how they don't want to even give you the credit. Let's shout you out. And they're the huge pages already. That's what I'm saying. But they're not the reason they're not going to give credit is because pay me. Like we have a giant name. We're getting your name out there. We have three million followers. How about, you don't. How about Ryan Davis? He he said people are making six figures on other people's content. It's true. It's sad. Yeah. It's like yo, you could you could be like I'm quitting comedy right now. I'm becoming a meme page maker and next make six figures. And be like you might not be happy with it, but you're like I'm just taking people's comedy jokes or or like memes and making a hundred thousand a year, and I can't get on a stage. So fuck it. Well, that that's the thing with. It's also like the same shit that almost Rogan 